Great. Here we go. All right, welcome you warriors, you wellness warriors, you detox warriors, Wakanda forever. We made it. This is the last, last, last <laughs> Saturday of our detox. This is our closeout. And I just want to welcome you all to the 28 Day Body and Soul Detox Closeout. You ladies rocked it. And I am so excited about where you're going to go from here. And hopefully you will be continuing this journey prayerfully. You'll be, I know you will be, it's like, how can you do this and not want to continue? It, it, it's, it's nearly impossible because you know how much better you feel. You know how your, your soul is in alignment with this. You know it. And, um, and you know, this was a divine connection. It was divine setup. So we will continue. One way or another, prayerfully, you'll be continuing with us. So yes, anyway, we'll start in prayer. And I'll ask Coach Denise, would you, would you mind leading us? In a sense, Some, somebody's texting me. Hold on. Okay. Someone's text texting. Yeah. Coach Hold on. Me. Yes. Melva, <laughs> you have such beautiful light in your house. The whole front uh, where we rent this part of the house is all windows. I love it. And it's a lot of trees. So it's very beautiful when you look out the window. That's, oh, that's such yes. I was hoping that that was Jacqueline, but that's not her. Okay. Yeah. I didn't get her to come in. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call her right now. Okay. Um, after you after you say it, just a simple prayer, just to close out. Okay. All right. So thank you, Lord, that we were able to wake up this morning feeling good, feeling well. Yes. And definitely feeling victorious as we completed this detox. And we just wanna thank you for giving us the strength and the, the fortitude to be able to overcome whatever we needed to overcome to be successful in this detox. We just wanna thank you for keeping us focused on what we had to do to be successful in this detox. Yes. We thank you for Coach Carmen for creating such a thorough and complete detox mm -hmm. that can change us for the rest of our lives. We can we can change our lives with this. We can make lifestyle changes and we can heal ourselves and we can make our bodies healthier and stronger. We thank you for that, Lord. And we thank you for all of those who are going to come in here on this closeout and share with us so that we can move forward and share and help others. And we thank you in Jesus' beautiful, sweet, sweet name. Amen. 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 That's awesome. <laughs> and that, I like that picture you have. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Oh. What is that a picture of? Is it the other person? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably doing hair right now, so she, she's on mute. But yes, we have a new uh, a, a new detoxer that just signed out up last night, and she was referred by Renetta, another another uh, beautiful referral of Renetta's, and so excited about her, Tanya Jones. So hopefully she'll be popping in as well. Um, awesome. All right, so we. Just to do a little housekeeping, we wanted to remind you of your after picture. Please, please, please put your after picture in there. Uh, maybe I'm thinking, should I create a separate post just for after pictures? Renata, Renata put hers in. She did? Yep. When did she do that? Um, about a half hour ago. Here's Jacqueline. I took mine this, this morning, but I have to post it. Oh, yeah, girl, post it. Yeah, post it up, post it in there. Okay, because I'm going to write down the names of everyone who put their after picture up. And 
and I'll add you because you took it and I, I trust that you're going to put it up, Melba. So, and I'm going to have a drawing. So take your picture and put it up. All right. So I'm wondering, hmm, maybe I'll give you, you know what I'll do? I'll give you some time. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. I'm gonna call you too. I'm so glad you made it without me having to call you. Beautiful. So oh, my my calendar, not my calendar. Um no dear, I'm not talking to you, hon. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm seriously trying to wake up, folks. Please forgive me. <laughs> well, listen. You just wake up and now just... see. I, I've been working with my calendar. The calendar worked. Good girl. And my alarm, but um, I still have to figure out how to make the notice of the, a bling on it. But it did. Oh, work. okay. Yes. Work for yeah, on your now. phone. I'm getting there. Yes. But that's why. And plus, I had to take a Benadryl last night for an allergic reaction. But oh, kind of crazy. But that's what. <laughs> we love you regardless to what, Josh. Yes. You are alarm, like, you know how you wake up like this. Oh Lord, what was that? I know that's how I, <laughs> that's how I woke up for sure. <laughs> but that's how the alarm, like, oh that was what the alarm. So yes, that's how I woke up and I said, Oh my goodness, let me go in here. And I oh, have listen. to go back with my water and uh, anyway. You're good. I'm here. You're good. Chill yeah, you're good. Away. You're good. And the bag Chill alarm. Out. And <laughs> just enjoy, just enjoy everything. Just enjoy the experience. Relax and enjoy the experience oh, just because leave. we are. So what I was going to say was, um, I think what I'll do is give you all till today to put your after pictures up. So this way you have time and then I'll take your names and put each name on a piece of paper. And we I'll, I'll have maybe Anthony pull the name. Of the okay, so we'll do that like that. But Melva gave me her teas. Actually, she she wanted teas. So she gave me the four teas that she wants as her gift. So I'm going to be mailing her four of our healing infusions teas for sure. So she can get them. Melva, you already you had already purchased teas, right? Oh, you know what? Unless I misunderstood you, I thought that's what I was supposed to pick was teas. Well, you what tea did you buy any did you pick any of the teas you already had? No, no, no. Okay, so then you're good. Okay. Yeah. No, you you're you're good with that for sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, all right. Who else? Now Moving forward, what I wanted to just say was I just wanted to thank the coaches, Coach Denise and Coach Celeste, for, for all that they have imparted into the group and the, the information. And just it's just a blessing to be able to duplicate yourself. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like nothing like that when you're able when God gives you a gift and you're able to share it with others and they're able to share it with others that's like the hot diggity dang day. it doesn't get any better than that it really doesn't it's like wow I guess if you're a pastor and you have different um you you have assistant pastors and all I guess it's kind of like that kind of thing <laughs> That's how good it feels. But just as they're so sharp and, and, and so passionate about it. And I see many of you ladies in here that are, well, a few of you who have that kind of passion. Like there's a certain kind of passion to, that you have that is perfect for sharing and, and, and giving and teaching, you know? And I have my eye on... Uh, couple y'all that I'm going to, going to be talking to you about the possibility of becoming a 28 day body and soul detox coach because I, I feel I feel that God may have touched your heart about it so 
we'll talk about it. So anyway, what we want to do is just go around and ask you how you feel since the detox, you know, coming into the detox where you were and where you are right now. What experiences were experiences that made you, like you weren't expecting maybe, that, um, that you were expecting, that you were hoping for, um, that even things that you wanted but didn't happen, you know, the highs and the lows. If you can share that with us, we'll give you, um, let's, I'll set a timer only so that we can make sure that we end on time, but what, like how many minutes? Like maybe four minutes each to share. So, oh, hi, Crystal. Who's the wife? <laughs> hi, yeah, this is my wife. Hi, everyone. Hi, Crystal. Hi, hi sweetheart. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, we're not going to see your pretty face this morning. <laughs> <laughs> she's like well do i have to i'm serious i know that feeling of well i know i'm not mad at I you i know how you feel i look bad myself <laughs> so cornelia too cornelia oh, we're not going to see your pretty face we're just glad that you're here so who wants to start can i start so i can wake up <laughs> I, I think you should wait until you wake up before you start. Oh, okay. Yeah, give yourself a little more time. Okay. So you can get your thoughts right. I just okay. feel like if I had the strength, I'd jump up and down, but I don't. Because <laughs> you're excited though, right? Yes, I am. You got a lot to be excited about. I heard you lost a few inches around that waistline. I know. Lost a few inches in the waistline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we may have to talk about that because I'm so excited about it. All right, let's come on, Jacqueline. Get your energy and uh, talk to us. Let us know what. So, you know, when you take your measurements, I, I can't really do all of them, but the only one that I could do myself is the weight. Yes. And Denise would say, you know, look, get a waistline, girl. I'm like, oh, please. No, 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 I don't. And when I measured it, I said, oh, wait, hold up. Wait, wait a minute. I lost seven inches of my waist. Seven. Seven mm -hmm. yards. Yeah. Uh -huh. And now it, uh -huh. it's kind of hard to measure your arms and stuff, but I'll let, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll let my sister do that later, but yes, yes. That is wonderful. And I, I think I have a neck again. You got a neck. I see a neck. You got a neck. Sort of, because you know, but first I it was just a ball here. I didn't have a neck. <laughs> Well, you got a neck. <laughs> you got a neck now, oh, girl. Guys, let's, call it, let's call it like it is. It was like a ball sitting right here. You, <laughs> you got a neck. Anything, but you could see one of the rolls a little bit, but otherwise, you know, you couldn't see it. That's all. Jacqueline also has cuts on her arms. Her arms are starting to look very defined. She's looking good. Wow. Well, that is because Jacqueline is, now has the, not only done the knees the, stop hurting. I'll be okay. But I'm she has not. Hurt. Yeah, totally. She has not only done the detox oh. four times, but she also is a client of Denise's uh, Diva Pilates of uh, uh, Diva Pilates and Wellness, and she's been working with Denise uh, privately for how long now, Denise? She's in her sixth Good. month now. And she is doing really, really, she's been whittling down, hard, guys, planking. She's been doing her workout. She comes, you know, she's consistent with her workouts and it's been paying off for her now. And now she can see it. Like she didn't see it at first. I did. I was like, you know, you got a baseline. There were some days I started to call her yesterday. I said, Denise, can we just skip the day? But she good. didn't though. But she didn't. She came in and did her workout. It was so sad. Um, I'm like, I don't want to do it today. My I'm knees sorry. hurt. Mm -hmm. My back, the butt shakes hurt. <laughs> I, it's bad when your butt cheeks hurt. Oh, I know. I've got Denise's Pilates. 
It's the, the bus shanks. shanks. The shanks, yeah. Yes. The knees, the knees oh. will put a hurting on your butt cheeks, and that's a good, that's a good thing because that means that the muscles <laughs> are working. Yeah. But guys, I started. I couldn't even do a minute of planking. I can do five. Yes. You can do five now. What? She's, yeah, she can do five. She can bust out five, and she does twenty push-ups in between there. So she and all, all on the wall while standing up, and she could. And I'm, I'm telling you, in the beginning, she was barely able to get thirty seconds in there. That's right. I remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, wow. So she I'm has still, been I'm still putting up my in to organize it, though, y'all. I'm still a work in progress there, but it's I'm okay. We You've been putting are. in your time. She's been putting in her 100% and getting 100% out. And the locks are growing out. They look better. Yes, yes. So there it is. The locks, it's, it's one lady in here. Who has those real pretty long locks? It's one lady in here who does. Mel Melba, you have locks? Somebody does. Um, they fold, they fold locks. They crochet it in. Oh, you, are, you, you know who it was? I, she's talking about... Um, She's talking about Melba's. Um, you see, I want my. That's the goal link for me is hers because I want to sling it like this. Right? <laughs> I ain't mad at you. <laughs> she, she's talking about uh, Mel, your client from, from last detox who brought Melba in. Oh, who's that? Who brought Melba in? Soraya doesn't Soraya. have locks. Soraya, Soraya doesn't have locks. She, no, she no, just got. Oh, Soraya, did, Soraya doesn't have locks? Mm -hmm. She had braids. She got braids. Oh, okay. okay. Same thing. That's the length I want. Okay. Well, listen, we, we can always add a few in there when we need whatever because, and I know that Renetta knows that very well. She she does hair. But they She's look good. They look great. <laughs> hey. With her gorgeous self. So, so all right. Good. They Listen, is there anything else you want to share in terms of just staying consistent, Jacqueline? Yes, and I still need to do better, but I will. That is my goal to keep doing better until I finally get it right. Yes, yes. That's okay. I'm a work in progress, guys, but I, you can see the, the face is starting to get some shape to it. Yes, it is. I told you before, it was just a ball. Yes. But now, look, I have cheekbones. Yes, you do. I got a few circles under my eyes, but otherwise I have cheekbones. That's awesome. Thank you so much Thank for you, sharing. <laughs> we love it. We love you. Oh, I love that... the teacup. That is so pretty. What teacup? Tea tea oh. Yeah, I like that. Yes, yes. Awesome. All right. I so I couldn't have it in my house though. So Jacqueline, I'm gonna put you on mute right now. Um, okay, I'll just, mute it. Um I got it. And I'm going to see who's who's next. Who wants to come on in? I see Crystal. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. All right. Oh, Melba. Yes. Go, oh, Melba. Oh, Go, Melba. I was wait out. I, I was no, waving at late. Crystal. Too late. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. <laughs> okay, so I was so excited to hear Jacqueline because she's very inspiring. And I love her enthusiasm and her, her, her excitement. So that's great. So um, I definitely lost weight. I definitely lost inches. I don't know how many inches because I, um, I didn't measure, but I could tell by looking in the mirror and how my clothes were, were fitting. So I know I lost inches on my arms and my waist and my legs because... Mm -hmm. Is, is very um, apparent. So I would say um, a couple of things. Um, I'm definitely lighter. I've had a couple like spiritual releases, like especially the first week, um, probably the biggest thing was that the statement about, um, I guess it's the loop of your thinking, you know, how negativity and it loops and it keeps and that was like like a big light bulb went off. So I have to say, since then, my mind is not looping crazy things because, you know, I would either beat myself up or keep running around on my mistakes. And I have not done that since since the soul detox. And so that thing about um, put putting the seeds in so that God can bring back, you know, it's just wow. Um, yes. That was that was just something. Probably the next thing is my clarity of, of thinking. 
Um, like I can hear God more. And I would say a good example of that was there were some mornings I would just wake up just not feeling happy or joyful, just like, Bleh. and I'm like, what in the world is that? And I was like, that's the enemy trying to get me. And it was like that day that we started juicing, the light bulb went off that I said, that's, that's the enemy and just prayed. And I have not waken up with that spirit on me um, during juice week. So it's like, it's like, it's just, I can't even say, um, but it's like when you let go of food, the control of food, and it, it really is true. Then you can hear God speak. Things become clearer that when you're not trapped in, oh, what am I going to eat tonight? And, and just trapped in food, 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 where food becomes the idol. You know, I don't really realize that, but stepping away from it helps me realize I don't have to run to the kitchen and eat this. I don't have to snack on that. Even when my husband is cooking food that smell good, I say, nope, that food is no good for me. And I can say, no, let me go get my green juice <laughs> and drink that. <laughs> and then I can feel good about what I'm eating while he chopping down on them pork chops and white rice and sugar and everything else that he, he keep eating and loading it all up with salt. I don't have to live that way. So you go on and do that. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat healthy. And, and um, so I'm, I'm excited to keep eating healthy. And I will say, I did make those raw greens. I was like, I don't know about the raw greens now, but I made them. That going to be my, one of my salads. I said, I can't huh. wait to make that again, because I was like, there's no way that raw greens going to taste good. I know that's what they're saying, but I don't know. So let me, let me just jump off the truck and try it and and that's that's a keeper and i'm going to the grocery store today and i'm gonna put them greens in the freezer i said because that's gonna be a staple no no need trying to saute them greens and ham and bacon grease (laughs) and all that stuff that that clog up the system i said no because my mom cooked greens to death and i was (laughs) like i mean to death and we always say mom why you got to kill the cabbage and the greens? <laughs> and so at least from the lesson, I know it's all, once you cook it, it's dead anyway, but she, she don't, she cook it past death. So I'm like, no more of that. I'll bring my own greens. Thank you. So it's just been a, a great, great um, experience. I didn't do everything perfectly, but I can say I made right choices. So I'm, I'm, thank, I'm thankful. I really am. I'm very and I'm going to continue. So I'm not going back to the um, macaroni and cheese and all that stuff my family fixed when you come over for dinner. Mm-mm. Yeah. Yes. No. No. Amen. Awesome, Melba. Wow. Awesome. Story. That, that is, is, that is like, amazing. And I know about you. them overcooked collard greens because my mother <laughs> used to cook them like that too. She used to cook hers like that. Yeah. So I understand, but I knew you were going to like them collard greens. I knew it. I'm like, I ain't going to say nothing because she's going to love them collard greens. I'm going to just zip my lip and wait until she make them. Wow. Yeah. So I am, I am exercising. So I did try one of your classes, um, um, Denise, and I was like, I, I am out of shape bad. <laughs> And you were like a couple of more. I said, I can't do a couple of more. I got to wait to the next. <laughs> one. I, got to wait. I got to wait for the next set. My butt hurt. I can't. I can't. <laughs> so I said, let me go. The next day, I said, let's... Let's... <laughs> so the next day I rode my bike. I said, my bike I can do. I got to wait a day or two to get back. <laughs> said, Isn't that body. something? Like you think you're doing something because I have my workout routine and it, it it does help me. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But when you work out with Denise with the plank and Pilates, you feel things that you haven't felt before. Yeah. Well, at least yeah. for a long time. Yes. You know, when I was into weights and all, I felt everything. But because there's something about the pl- the planking and, and the Pilates that it's on a whole nother level. That's why we say Christians don't need yoga. It, yoga is not for Christians anyway. And a mm-hmm. lot of people don't know that. They're like, what? Yeah, 
do a little research, you'll know it, it is a it's a based on a religion and it, it's a lot of um, spiritual stuff in there that's and spiritual doesn't always mean good, you know, the, the devil spiritual. Okay, so um, and I've been studying these things for a long time when God told told me that his his daughters are going to be pulled into a lot of other belief systems portraying as him and, and giving that illusion that it's it's him because it's peace and it's calming and 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 we all need that. But there's no greater peace than the peace of Jesus. You know, and there's no, and, and you can get amazing, peaceful workout, beautiful workout um, and healing workout through Pilates. So just want to put that in there. So thank you so much, Melva. That was like everything for sure. And a bag of organic vegan chips. So um, That'll work. I'm going to send you the, the information for our live classes so you can work with the group of us. Okay. I'll send that to you. Yeah, it's just okay. send it. Yeah, to all. Can you send? Can, can yeah, I'll I'll send it to everyone. I have good. email, so I'll send it to everyone. Yes, they're, they're really great classes, and and we're in there all week long. We're in there, right? Including because, me, please, Denise. Including, yeah, including all of us, because uh, the Heal Whole Body and Soul program it, it includes. You know, we have Denise in there for the Pilates and, and the Plank and Pilates and for our, she's our fitness uh, coach as well. So it's a beautiful thing. You might as well just come on into the, the classes that she's doing and get a feel for it because it's wonderful. So let me see, who, uh, Cornelia, wait, who came in? Who came in after Melva? Denise, you remember? I think it was Renita. Okay. All right. I think she's frozen. You frozen? She's not frozen. Oh, good. Okay. Um, unmute your unmute yourself, Anita. She's oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said Cornelia. <laughs> sorry. Oh, yeah, I did at first. And then Denise said that no, that you came in before Cornelia. Hey. Hi. So so no, you didn't have to work this morning? Well, I am done early and I'm so excited because, yeah, I had a couple cancellations and I'm not mad at all. I'm like, oh, I get a Saturday off. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. That's what's up. I'm so yes. surprised to see you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I didn't think I was going to see you on a Saturday morning. Right. Yeah. Normally you wouldn't. Last Saturday, though, I had my client. Uh, I was working, but I was on the live. So my client was in was in the in the live with me. She was like, oh, <laughs> Good. Not the way. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. So wow, you definitely inspired us on on Wednesday. Yeah. So coming from where you you started, because I, I look at you and you, you you look like like you're you're fine in terms of your weight and, and, and all of that. What brought you in and, and do you feel like it was um it was worth worth it. Oh, well, it was definitely worth it. Um, there was, I just, I, I typically try to do a detox like in the once a year. And, um, but usually I just do it by myself and I somewhere along the line, I fall off the wagon and then the wagon rolls over me and then we're done for the rest of the year <laughs> downhill <laughs> from there. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, no, this has been, this has been great because like Melva was saying, I mean, I, you know, I, you know, I spend a lot of time in prayer and, and, you know, things like that. And, but because there's so much going on, sometimes it's hard for me to hear for myself. I can hear for other people all day long. I can tell you what I feel like the Lord is saying, but when it comes to me, it's like, oh, I, I don't know. I can't hear anything. Mm -hmm. So um, but, but when I, when we started this, the shift definitely happened and, um, you know, to the point where, you know, I'm usually a person who, you know, sometimes I'll mince my words or just kind of try to be, you know, um, diplomatic with what I say, but 
there were things that I needed to say and do and handle. And it was like the Holy Spirit, like I could, it was like he was behind me, mm-hmm. like saying go, it's, but I could hear, but it was because I had shut out all of this other stuff, mainly food, because for me, like I love to eat and food is a big thing for me. Like, you know, I do emotionally eat, but I do, I do maintain my weight decently, but, but, um, but food is a distraction for me, a big one. And, but with this, I mean, I really, uh, there was some great strides made spiritually. And even last night, (laughs) I'll admit, like I was about to give up. Like my, my, um, my family, my son had a basketball game. I had my husband take my daughter. So I was here by myself. So when I got done working, I was like, I'm done working. There's nobody here. You ain't eat. I don't care. I'm done with these juices. I don't want (laughs) to eat enough juice. They taste good, but I want to chew something. And I was sitting there and I was just like, and I heard clear as day the Holy Spirit say, don't give up now. And I was like, you know what? Cause yeah, why was I going to eat? What, what, what would be the point when I have these nutrients right here in this bottle? What, but it was, a, it was a, a mind thing. It was something that I needed to overcome. I would normally, that's what I would normally do. If I'm here by myself and I'm relaxing, I'm going to get a plate of food. And I'm going to eat. But this time I didn't do that. And I sat down and I didn't turn on the TV. I just grabbed my juice and I sat back and, and I just rested and, and listened to the Holy Spirit giving me some other instruction with my juice in my hand Amen. instead of that pork chop like <laughs> But no, I was actually going to go to the Middle East. I was going to be good. I was like, well, if I just go get some grape leaves, you know, that won't be so bad. But it was just the, the it's the mindset, that soul thing. That's why I really like this because it is a body and soul connection, you know, that you have to make in order to be successful in this. And so this morning I did take my after picture and I did post it and I was like, oh, Okay, I can. <laughs> and my husband said to me the other day, he was like, "Yeah, I noticed your your butt is not um, <laughs> you, your butt." I was like, "Don't don't worry about it. I'm we're gonna tone back up. We're gonna get it together." But my, you know, I definitely lost weight. I definitely lost inches, and I definitely lost some unwanted um, soul soul weight as yes. well. Yes. So, so yes. I'm I'm grateful. That is deep. Oh, wow. Awesome. That is awesome. Awesome. That is so awesome. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, I just wanted to to bring up the point of our spouses or significant others having uh, an issue with us losing weight as Black women. And, you know, that that is is an issue. And, um, you know, not to not to put everybody in the same box because if if you had some health issues where you you know were prone to losing weight in a health unhealthy way i can understand you know the concern but and and they have a right to be concerned but if what they have to understand and and what's good to explain to them is that there's weight and then there's healthy weight there's a weight that may look good but then there's a healthy weight and none of us really know what our healthy weight is until we until we actually detox to the point where we get rid of all the toxins as much as we can and you are going to go down you're going to strip it down yeah you are going to strip it down you're going to get thin and you are going to have everybody and their mother especially and if 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 they're black you know, this is a black thing right here. Nobody else understands like this. We, they're gonna be, girl, what you said? What's the, mm, mm. you better say, no, you, I think you need to stop that with that detox thing. No, no, mm, mm, mm. no, you're losing the butt, girl, you're losing, no, you, it's gone, girl. Mm-mm. You better get yourself some pork chops, get yourself some rice and beans and, 
you know, because you, you don't look healthy. Mm -hmm. You don't look healthy. They don't even know what the heck they're talking about, first of all. You know, because you have to, you have to get to a point where you release the fat that that contains all of those mi microorganisms, the mold, the yeast, the candida, all of the GMOs, all of the pesticides, herbicides, germicides, that's all inside of those fat pockets because mm -hmm. that's where they stay a lot in the fat. And when we release the fat, we're going to be released. When we release the, those uh, toxicities, we're gonna release the fat, but it's a process. It's not forever. Once you go back to eating and then you, you, you know, you start eating for calories. You don't even have to eat. I wasn't even thinking about eating for calories when I, oh I went down really low, but I, I had to go super low only because I was so deathly ill. So my body was like, yeah, yeah. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. So not only did I look bad because I was sick, but I, I went down so low that it was, it, I couldn't even let anybody see me. I didn't want them to see me because people were, they, the few people that did see me, they were freaked out. Um, but that's also because of my skin and everything from the blood disease. But I'm telling you, it, it's not hard to gain that weight back. <laughs> you <laughs> gain it back pretty quickly. And I gained it back as a, as, as a cooked vegan, a raw vegan, and then cook, cooked food will put weight on you anyway. Yes. Cook, I mean, you don't need meat. Cooked vegan food will put weight on you. Once you start eating again, it's gonna put weight on you, but then you're going to be, you're going to develop your healthy weight. And your healthy weight is your weight. And, and nobody can judge you for your healthy weight. Some people are naturally slim. That's just their natural weight. And then some people are naturally um, thick. Some sisters are just thick sisters. And they look good. You can tell when a sister is healthy and they're just, and they're like a thick, healthy sister. Generally, you can. You know, I mean, makeup will make anybody look good. But, you know, a person, you could just, they're, like, they're just big bone and they're not going to be a, a very thin sister. So, we are all bio individual and we all have to be sad, be, be happy for what, how God created us. You know, I know for me, my healthy, my healthy weight, my healthy size is small. I know I'm unhealthy I'm, when my waist is getting bigger and bigger, like my waist is getting bigger and bigger. And I know that's not healthy for me because that's where diabetes and high blood pressure and all these other diseases that are, are gonna come into play. That's why most, so many of us have high blood pressure and diabetes, it's the waistline. If your waistline is not matched up with the, west, the rest of your body, you're out of sync. You have too much toxicity in your body. And that's, that's you know, many of you, I think all, I know all of you are younger than I am. so. You just wait. <laughs> I'm telling you now, you just wait because what's going to happen is you you can eat whatever you want to eat now, and 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 it's not so bad. But after a certain while, it's going to be harder and harder to get that weight off. So what you're doing now is excellent. Hi, Sharon. Hi. Oh, she Hi, how are you, sweetheart. Good to see you. Well, to know you're here. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get to see you too. So, you know, that's that's the bottom line. What do you, what do you ladies say about that? What do you think about what I just said? Well, I'll say this um, to um, Renita: the butt's gonna come back. It's gonna come back because that's exactly what happened to me on my first detox. I lost everything, but and 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 I think we stressed this in the beginning in week one. Um, there are exercises in the detox that you can do every day like they're they're mild enough where you can do them every day because sometimes when we lose weight if we're not working out we will lose muscle tone which will cause the the, the butt muscles and every other muscle to just drop and you'll lose the shape of it and the the, the the poofiness of it that we have it's natural 
But once you go and start working out, that it'll come back. It'll come back. Yeah, and it, it will just have a different shape. Different shape, time. but it will come back. It will come yeah. back. Mm -hmm. Right. And the bottom line, though, the bottom line is, even if it didn't come back, your health is the most important thing. And that's mm -hmm. what I want to stress. It's your health. You know, you, we. So, I've had so many women tell me, oh, no, I can't do detoxes. I'm already, you know, I don't want to, my, my husband, you know, likes me this size. Meanwhile, they have like five different diseases. I'm like, does your husband want you alive? Or does he want you, you know, uh, with all these diseases being the size he wants you to be? Because that's just a facade. I mean, it may look pretty on the outside, but it's sick on the inside. So I just want you to, to think about that. Focus on you. I'm sorry. I don't mean to, you know, like we, because my, my husband's right over here. He can hear what I'm saying. And he knows how I feel about it. You know, you have to take care of you first. And then, and then you know, and, and, and people, and men will, res your man will respect that. I'm, I'm saying that, of course, I'm not saying that to anybody in particular, just in general. I just want to, I don't know, I just felt led to say that. But, Renetta, you can say something. No, no, that's that. I, um, and I was just going to say that um, that was my, my thing. And, and my husband, he does know that. He, he jokingly said that. But he was very, very supportive of what I was doing. But, yeah, I can remember before I did a detox. This was probably the, one, the only time. And it was with a group. And the same thing, I had lost a good amount of weight. And so my, and my butt, for whatever reason, it's always my butt that goes away. No, me too. He said it, did, but, but he definitely appreciated because I told him that um, he's next. So <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to be uh, 50 years old in a month. And so I just really wanted to go into 50, like truly fit. Like I didn't just want to, you know, look good or whatever, quote unquote. That mm -hmm. means I, you know, just really wanted to um, enter into this next season, feeling good mentally, you know, physically, spiritually, and all of that. So, yes, amen, amen. So, <clears throat> so what I just shared with you too, I just want you to, I wanted you to have that in in your mind because maybe you never really had that conversation with anyone before. So that when you do speak to your friends or other family members who may have that as an issue, you'll be able to explain that to them. Because seriously, a lot of women are going further and further down the medical matrix rabbit hole because they're so afraid that they're going to lose weight. You know, that so, was because, like I said, at the time, I did lose a lot of weight, and people, people did say stuff. They were like, "Ooh," you know, like these were close friends so they could say you know they're like you, you cute but your head is, is bigger than your body <laughs> you know what I'm saying so yes that was a complex that I would have like oh man I hope I don't lose a lot of weight because I don't want to get too small but like you said it's it's more important to be healthy so yeah I'm yeah. definitely clear on that yeah yeah I don't know I guess maybe because I grew up thin uh, very too. thin and people would have something to say about me. And I would have big people say, you know, oh, skinny, you know, and they didn't realize that that's just as insulting as calling somebody fat. You yeah. know, you call somebody skinny and, and especially the big girls. And, and I just, but because I didn't want to, I mean, this was in my adult life too, where I didn't want to make them feel bad. So I wouldn't retaliate and say, well, you know, well, look at you, you know, um, you're fat. I would never say that because I can't even imagine calling somebody fat, but yet it was okay for them to call me skinny, you know, but we just have hangups where we were so judgy. People are so judgy about how someone looks. You don't even know what a person's going through. You don't know if they have thyroid issues, you know, and they can't lose weight. Sometimes uh, there are big, big women, big sisters. They can't help it. They have illnesses that caused them to gain weight, gain weight, you know? And then you have people who have illnesses, um, issues that's causing them to be thin. 
So we just have to stop being so judgy and 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 let people know that you know it's, don't be so judgy. You don't know what a person's going through. You know, some people they just need to be called out about that. You know, we do have an issue with with the size as a as a people. We need to That's get true. over that. That's true. Cause you know, the, throughout my whole life, the time from the time I was about from the time I was a kid all the way up until about 30, I was very, very thin. No hips, no butt, no chest, no nothing. Very, very thin. So I had nicknames like stick, crowbar, and anything else that had to do with somebody who's very stick thin. But it it kind of washed over me because I had parents who always told me that I was beautiful and stuff like that. So I really didn't. But in the after, after a while, it kind of bothered me because I knew it did because when I would go out, I would pad my my hips and my breasts so that I could look like I had some curves that I didn't have. But by the time I hit um, 30, the, the curves finally showed up. And then all of a sudden, oh, now you look healthy. Like I wasn't healthy before that, but oh, you got a butt now, you got hips, you got a chest a little bit. Now you look healthy. This is how you're supposed to look. And I would be like, uh, excuse you? Because, and and, it, it's it's strange because after um, thirty, my like into my thirties, that little initial poofy weight left again because I think it was a hormonal thing they gave it to me in the beginning, and it left again, and I went back down, and the same thing started to happen. Like, oh, you lost weight? Are you are you sick? No, no, I'm not. But why does it have to be that I'm sick just because I lost some weight? What's up? So it's a, it's a thing. It's, it's just a thing. People just don't, they have no sensitivity to it. Like Coach Carmen said, you don't know what, what someone may be going through, or they just may be naturally the size that they are. That's just the size that they are. Mm -hmm. Simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, thank you so much. That was awesome. And that, that, beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. Let's see. Cornelia, are you? Cornelia, hello, are you still there? Cornelia, hello. Oh, wait, I don't know. It's saying she's asking to be unmuted. What in the world? I'm trying to unmute her. Yeah, sometimes um, Zoom does funny things. Yeah, why does it do that? That, that happened to my Hi, man. I'm here. Unmuted. Okay, good. Unmuted. Hi. Hi, ladies, how are you? Hi, Hi my lovey. So, oh my God, just to hear everybody's testimonials, it was amazing. And I just love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, for me, um, it was very challenging, really. I've, um, oh my God. <laughs> First of all, I want to say I, I did love the program. It was amazing. The book, um, I love the audios. I mean, just so great. So good. I've been doing this for a long time. I have such a deep passion. And I believe I was called to do this because uh, for like 40 years, I've been just into health, into health, just loving it. But, you know, doing your program showed me that, um, you know, God, uh, you know, God wants us to just be complete, do exactly what he wants us to do, or we're not going to be successful. And I realized that doing the program, it, although I, I, I would say that I didn't do the program as perfectly. I, I would, would have wanted to um, really, really get more into it, but I wasn't, I have to admit. That's okay. I, um, I kind of messed up a little bit. Eating okay. meat. I ate a lot of meat. I have to say more meat than I did before the program. It was crazy. <laughs> wow. I was like, wait, what's going on here? I'm being like... <laughs> Oh, wow. that's funny <laughs> that was a challenge wow I mean, you know it, it had been years since i had beef and i went to a um a mediterranean so uh, restaurant with my daughter uh um it was my granddaughter's birthday she invited me and i went and had meat i had beef i couldn't believe it they had beef on a the stick they had chicken i mean it was like oh my god i can't believe it i'm being tempted this way and i'm go i'm i'm doing it I'm, I'm giving into it. So, um, and that's why I asked the ladies to pray for me um, <laughs> the other day. I said, please pray for me because I'm really going through. Yes. But um, yeah, so that was, 
a bit of a challenge. And I said, okay, now what am I going to do about this? Am I, am I going to do this the way God is telling me to do it? Or am I going to just do it my way and be rebellious? Mm-hmm. And um, I have to do it again. I have to do the, I have to Amen. do this again because I want to do it right. I want to get it right. Cause as I said, I, I've been doing health for a long time. You know, God's been teaching me so many things. I went to school. I, 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 I've, I've had clients, even though I'm not licensed to coach or anything, but family and friends and everybody's coming to me and asking me questions about what to do about this, you know? And, um, so it's something I really believe I really want to do in the future, just really coach and maybe, um, do it right, do it yes. right. Yes. But Cornelia, you came into this, uh, being very affluent in preparing vegan food. Yes. So what do well, you I think? Well, I know how to do that. I know how to p- prepare vegan food. My daughters, uh, I have one daughter who um, she's been with me since the COVID um, pandemic, and she's a vegan. And she, this is before I got into the program, your program. And she would say to me, "Mom, come on, no, don't eat, don't eat chicken, don't, don't eat that. Come on, you know so much about this. You, you can make all these great meals. You know how to do this. You know how to do that. Why are you eating meat? Why are you doing this?" And um, I said, hey, "Please pray for me because I don't know why. I, 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 I just keep." eating meat and I know God it's not I'm not coming down on people who, who, do, who do eat meat I don't want anyone to think that oh you eat meat so you know you got to be a vegan I'm not saying that it's just that right. what God wants me to do I know God want, doesn't want me to eat uh, meat anymore because every time I eat it I don't feel well I'm not I, I feel sick right you know right. and absolutely um, yeah so um yeah, that's just been the te- the challenge with me trying to really do this program exactly the way it's designed, you know. And yeah, um, yeah so that's been a bit of a battle. But again, I just want to say that I'm very proud of everybody else. Everybody else <laughs> doing a marvelous job and doing well. And oh, one other thing I do want to say: the self care. That was what I really enjoyed too. Yes. Um, yeah. Because I'm so I'm I'm the type of person that my family comes first. I'm always doing everything for them. I put everybody first, um, and I was able to just look into that mirror and say, "I love you. I love you." I I put myself first for the first time in a long time. Wow. You know? And um, yeah, and so that was very very good for me, and I and I enjoyed that a lot. Can I ask you, Cornelia? Were you able to? complete the soul detox no i was uh, that's what i'm saying i i wasn't able to complete anything i i would do it say a couple of times a week maybe and then even with the juicing i did the juicing maybe three days and i and i, I did the soul detox a couple of times you know i just didn't do everything the right. whole week that's okay so i i mean i know for a fact that the soul detox really does set you up to do the food. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I, I really believe that that part of it, because many times when we have sticking points with the food, it's because of soul issue. Okay. So that's why we do the soul detox first. So I would say you have the audios, you have everything to do the soul detox. Do the soul detox detox don't worry about the food because wouldn't you i'm not going to put words in your mouth but how do you do you do you feel that there's a spiritual connection with you going back to eating that much meat right when you're doing the detox um yeah i would say that i i I do agree with you about the soul um uh, there's something going on there because you know I, I I mean I don't want to get into all details about it. I would That's be on okay. would be on here for for days, okay? But yeah. I, I I was married for 25 years. I have four adult children now. They're adults, and six grandchildren. So I have you know, and so after being married for so long, 25 years, and then being divorced, and going on my own, doing my own thing, it was just so, you know, I don't know whether I was. I would just use the word disappointed. I was disappointed with, you know, uh, I, I'm going to say with God. I was disappointed at God. I mean, I would say, mm-hmm. Lord, I, I, you know, I prayed so much for my my marriage. I prayed so much for my husband. I prayed so much for my family. I just, you know, I, I felt like I gave so much, and yet this is how this is what happened. 
Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, and then there, there's just so many things happen, you know. Well, we have to talk then because I know, I mean, I didn't have to, to hear you say that to know that there's something. I mean, how many of y'all know that there was something more than just the food with her? Let me see the hands. Because... If how you, if you're gonna you're gonna do the detox and all of a sudden you're like wanting meat more than you wanted it before, right? Like it's almost like the enemy knew that this would give her her breakthrough to push right. through and to yeah. heal hurts because there's some healing that needs to be done. That's why oh, the, soul, yeah. the soul detox is so important because it helps you to forgive. Like Melva um, pointed out, that sowing as a seed sowing that marriage as a seed that is so important my love to you, you go back to the detox i'm telling uh, the soul detox and work that thing mm-hmm. work just just focus on the soul detox and yeah. release yeah. and get that healing my love because uh because you have got you you are anointed to do this you are anointed to coach others um through uh the process of healing through food you know, yeah. and, and like I told you before, you need to get paid for it because people many times won't really acknowledge or receive what you're sharing if they're not paying for it. Absolutely. Many yeah. times, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So we definitely have a lot to talk about. Thank you so much for sharing your heart like that. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank That's you. Awesome. I, I, would I, like, I would like to um, piggyback on something because I've been there with that. Mm. with the um you know sometimes when you're dealing with with soul issues it can be a little scary and so that's why sometimes we may start and if it gets a little bit too deep we're going to stop and then that's exactly go- what happened to these and you know what i looked into the mirror uh if if i could say this and share this and um it was it was so it was so painful it was mm. so painful like when i put my hand on my stomach and on my heart I, I looked into the mirror and f- felt this, like I was going to cry, but couldn't. I held it back from crying. I held myself back from, you know, really the breakthrough that I could have gotten. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, and then I stopped. And I was like, oh God, I'm not doing this. Yeah, yeah, well, I had, I know that I had a client who went through that too. And, and I, because I had the experience myself also, I know that that fear that you may lose control and may not be able to get it back. So what we do instead is we go back to what makes us feel comfortable, which is unhealthy eating, right? So that's what was pulling you to go back and, 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 and eat that meat. Yeah. You know, you was looking for that, that, that comfort and you were pulling away because now I'm not going to say your reason was fear. I know mine was, and I know that client that I was working with was, it was a Mm -hmm. fear because we felt that we, would not be able to get control over it. it it's a place it's dark you might not want to go in there right but the thing that to understand is there's always a light there no matter how dark it is there's always that little pinpoint of light that you can focus on and 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 make it a goal to walk towards because that's where you're going to come out on the other side and all of that stuff is going to be lifted up off of you so you may have to go through some uncomfortable crying, anger, all that other stuff. You may have to go through all of that to get to mm-hmm. that other side. But you're going to do it. Yes. You're do it. Yeah. So yeah. do the soul detox again. And this time when you're feeling like that, you just, you you push forward and you say your prayer, you say a prayer, you just, just, just go in and ask God to, listen, I'm at this point now where I feel like I want to quit this. I want to go eat some comfort food, but I know I need to stay here, but I need some help. You, know, you do what you have to do. Lay on the floor until it comes through. Right. And then get back up and do what you got to do. But don't, right. don't try not to let it bring you back to that point because when you got to that point, you was ready to, the breakthrough was coming. That's right. Yeah. It was coming, mm-hmm. but you got a little afraid and you backed away from it. That's all. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Yes. That is so yes. true. Amen. All right. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so, uh, Crystal Girl. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Good. Talk to Hi. us. Um, I, I 
I'm grateful for this program, and I just wanted to um, also um, affirm what um, Cornelia, Cornelia was saying, excuse me, um, getting in the mirror, I delayed the soul detox for a while, um, just because I knew that there was a lot that would come up for me, and I haven't even completed it just yet, but I made up my mind that I wasn't going to continue to delay it because I knew that there was something that I needed to get. And that's the reason why I even decided to um, join the program. So um, once I got in the mirror and I started saying, I love you, it got easier and easier for me to say it, but it was very awkward initially. Um, and I didn't cry until I started saying the, I love you enough not to put the kind of food that will not heal your body. Like when I started saying that, and it's like I could feel it in my heart, and I started saying, "That's right, I, I am. I do love myself enough to put food that heals me." And and I mean, it just like really like was eye opening for me, and it was it was like wow. So me just taking time to actually do that, then I noticed, you know, the the days to come, I was very mindful of just of what I was eating and even taking time for myself because I believe that self-care is self-love. And if I'm not, I don't, if I don't love myself, then I won't take care of myself. And so something as small as just eating breakfast, well, I'll decide that I have a client that I need to see. I need to go to work. So I'll defer my breakfast. I'll defer my lunch because I have to take care of them. Mm -hmm. Well, no because I need to put on my own oxygen mask first. And I'm modeling this and I'm telling my clients this, well, I'm being a hypocrite if I'm not engaging as well. And so it was just really like the moment for me to say, Crystal, you, you have to do this for you. It, has, it takes radical change to get the radical breakthrough that I've been so desiring. And I have not gotten through completely, but it's been a start. Um, for me and um, I was thinking about when Nita was saying like she's turning 50 and I turned 40 in October and for me I've carried a lot down through the years um, and I've been a person that has suppressed and suppressed and suppressed and I've carried this stuff in my womb and my womb has manifested everything that I've carried and I said no more another 40 I won't carry it anymore um, and I'm going to, to let it go. And so this has been the start of my journey of really once and for all. That's what I keep declaring. It's a once and for all for me because I'm tired. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. And, um, oh, my gosh. Yes. yes. So I, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that work. Mm -hmm. So thank you. you. Good for you. And you have eight more months to do it, <laughs> which yeah. is awesome. Oh my gosh, that is, mm -hmm. that's so beautiful. And, and you're young enough where to, to, to have that type of clarity and understanding at, at your age is so important, my love. I'm telling you, it's so important. You are where you should be right now. And I see breakthroughs, I see things falling off of you, and I see a total wound healing for sure. There's something about that, there's something about that turning 40 that, that does something to a woman. I don't know what it is, but it's that 40 that it, it, you, if there's gonna be like, a, I mean, we have breakthroughs all the time, of course, but it's something about that year 40 that does something. Because I remember the year I turned 40, I was sitting on the ferry, and I remember asking myself, why in the world are you still walking around here caring about what people are thinking about you? And why in the world are you still caring about what people think about what you, what is wrong with you? I mean, it was like, bing. Rita. I opened up my like, I ain't even trying to be putting that much effort into looking and, and, and dressing and acting the way people think that I should just because they think I should. I'm like, what is wrong? Too. It's like, it, like something about that 40. It, it just does something to a woman. Well, yes, ma'am. Um, I just wanted to share. Um, it's so important that what we're talking about because so, so 
when I hear that we got these decade birthdays, 40, 50, and I hit 60 in January. Woo, so woo. it's like <laughs> hitting um, milestones and wanting to be different. And so the scripture that keeps coming to mind is when Jesus says, do you want to get well? And so everybody really on this line wants to get well. So I know that as we keep pressing in, you know, God's going to heal us. We're going to get well, and then we can help other people, you mm-hmm. know, and uh, we'll, we're going to get the release that, that we need because it, do, it does really start with desire. And then the, you've got to have action. So, you know, even if all of us haven't done it all perfectly, we've all got to start somewhere. Mm-hmm. So it's just, it's just, it's just really exciting. And, um, seeing where God's going to take all of us um, on this journey, you know, what he has, he got a plan for all of us and that, Amen. you know, we all, we all do desire to see it in our lifetime, which is what the scriptures say, you know, we, we will see God's goodness in the land of the living and That's all right. of us are in still alive the living. That's and right. so we will see his destiny and plan for all of us on this side, on this side. in, in the right. earth. Amen. So his will is done in the earth while we are here. here. Amen. So it's great. I was great. That. And, like, and like you, Melba, I'm going to be 60 this year too. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what's there for me. In that Amen. Day. Yep. So I just wanted to read that Jacqueline said, which is shocking to me. I had no idea she, that she's 66. Wow. I'm like, what? I, I mean, I, I, I knew, I knew it because I mean, when she filled out her form, but that was years ago. Now, uh, I forgot that she's sixty six. That, that's that's amazing. Go, Jacqueline. That is amazing. Wow, oh, that my girl. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. So let me see. Is I wanted to know if um, Sharon's here. She's still here. She so was, like, but it looks like she left. Oh, she, she had to leave. Yeah, but she was here. Okay, okay. On the 18th, on the 18th of, I think she said this month she turned 66. Happy birthday, Jacqueline. So, <laughs> so, so it's coming up, it's coming up, your birthday's coming up. Oh, okay, cool. So Celeste, you wanted to say something? No, I was just um, sad that uh, Sharon didn't uh, jumped off and didn't stay on and, uh-huh. and hear these amazing testimonies and the experiences that everybody went through because I really believe that she had the same difficulties that, who was that? Cornelia, I believe, mm-hmm. who said, yeah, the devil came in and tried to derail her, you know, success and and I thought that Melba and Jacqueline's um, testimonies at the beginning were, were important uh, for her for her to hear too. So I'm I it's as if I she's she's my second client lady. So I'm a certified 28 day body and soul detox as well uh, coach as well. And um, so I really would have liked her to hear everybody. And I'm gonna she, try to make her listen to the video. You know. <laughs> Just because it's there doesn't mean they go there and then listen to an hour of, uh, yeah. of a Zoom, you know? So I yeah. want to make sure she does it. Yeah. And, you know, what's great about Zoom is that you can also just pull out the audio. Right. So if you want, you know, we can save the audio. So sometimes you could just listen, just like it's a radio show. If you just want to listen, I'm not having the, all the drama of the, the computer, like with everything else going on but yeah that's something so ladies that's amazing so many of you are already in the healed whole body and soul program um yes so i and i anyway we're going to talk i'm going to send everybody a a follow-up close out email and we all have the opportunity to to connect with our coaches. So Sharon, uh, Celeste, make sure you speak to Sharon um, about scheduling sometime. And same thing yeah, with yeah. Denise and all. So yeah, so I think that's it. Is there any last last thing anyone wants to say? We're gonna stay, oh, 
couldn't wait. We're going to stay in the group. Those of you who are not healed whole body and soul, you'll still have another week in the group so that you can get, catch up on anything you need to catch up on. And yeah, and if you like to, if you want to still go on and, 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 and write out your, your taste, your takeaways from each week in, in there. Because that's that's going to be awesome as well for you to do that. So that's it. Does anyone else one else want to to say anything? Did Denise, did you want to say say anything to close out? Um, well, I've been pretty vocal throughout. I'm just going to say uh, <laughs> I'm just going to say to everyone, thank you for um, being very transparent with us in here, and I am definitely praying for you to continue the journey even if it means to do the detox again, you know, I'm just, you know, praying for that, you know, for success, continued success for your lifestyle changes and that you get exactly what you need out of what you learned here. Amen. Amen. All right. So ladies have a beautiful Saturday. It looks like the sun is out, at least in New York. For and a minute. To melt <laughs> some of the snow away finally. Yeah. Oh gosh, New York. Yeah, before Ooh. the new snow comes. And all, and my, right? My Maryland, my my Michigan sisters, woo woo! Wow, we, we, I don't know what's going on. God has a plan for me in Michigan because there's so many, <laughs> so many of you, and more coming. So this is cold. Uh, it's cold in Michigan, right, Jacqueline? No, yeah, it's cold. And you're yes. you're in Detroit, um, Jacqueline. Yeah. Indeed. Yes, it is cold. <laughs> yes, it's cold. But that's but, okay. Yeah. I'll deal with it. But I heard y'all don't have that much snow. Not yet, but we're going to get some. Yeah, yeah. They keep All threatening right. us with it. Yeah, yeah. We'll send you some of our snow. So, oh, ladies, God bless you all. We'll be connecting really soon. I have a, a workshop tonight at seven o'clock. Love you, love thyself, heal thyself. You're all welcome to to come on in. It's at seven. Just use the same Facebook um, Zoom link. And it's going to be really powerful and pretty much like reiterating what we've spoken about here, but taking it to another level, a level that God has revealed to me about the different, the three, the three levels of self-love. And um, it's going to be awesome. So I, I hope you would be, will be able to join me tonight at seven o'clock here. Okay. Love you all. Look forward to talking to you soon. Have a beautiful week. Thank you, Coach Carmen. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank Good you. job, everybody. No Good more. job. Thank you, Coach Carmen. Excellent. Excellent, Excellent work. Coach Celeste, thank you. Aww. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Love you, too. Bye-bye.